Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. I am here today to show you how you can make a cute, quick, and easy set of note cards using Spellbinder's newest large die of the month, Punch and Pierce Frame and Sentiments. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create, and get some tips along the way. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, Spellbinder sends me a few of their club kits to use and share with you here on my channel. Today, I'm going to be showcasing the April 2023 Large Die of the Month, which like I mentioned before, is called Punch and Pierce Frame and Sentiments. Later in the month, I'll be back to share with you the Stitch Die of the Month and the Quick and Easy Card Kit. If you'd like to see other videos that I've created using Spellbinders products and their kits, I do have a playlist linked in that description box below. This month's large die of the month set includes 15 dies. You have three that kind of make a punched and pierced frame, and then you have six words and their shadow. The six words with shadows that come in the kit are thanks, wishes, for, you, hello, and best. So you can make a combination of sentiments. Now you might notice how thin the fonts are, and sometimes I love to use these as is, but other times, especially like today when I'm gonna mass produce, I don't want to have to worry about getting the adhesive right on the back of there. So we're actually gonna be cutting in to the piece on the front of the card, and just kind of using the negative space to make that word hello. This would be a great way to build up your own card stash, or you could package them up cute and give them to friends, family members, coworkers, you decide. Now, as I get into the process, I will let you know about other products and tools I bring in, but as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started today by doing all of the die cutting. This set does have three large dies where you can make kind of that pierced and wonky edged frame, but I'm only going to use the largest two so the center will be solid. I tried to get them centered as best as I could so there was even space between the inner and outer die, and then I used a couple pieces of scotch removable tape to hold that in place. I got out some of my bigger white cardstock scraps and I took this off camera and cut 10 of those. Now I did want to give you a couple of tips when cutting. I do roll mine forward and backward to kind of help get the little pieces out but they won't all come out on their own. Sometimes you can kind of like take it over, a, I use a little pop-up trash can, and kind of tap my finger on it and try to get those out. But another thing I did was I brought in a little makeup brush, and this is just from the Dollar Tree, and they're real soft bristles, and that helped me get out most of the remaining pieces. But there were a few stubborn ones, so I just brought in my piercing tool, and I poked those out. Once all 10 of those had been die cut and everything was brushed and poked out, I then got ready to cut my sentiments. Now you could try if you wanted to get this straight across, but so I could avoid that, I purposely made it kind of angled. I centered it as best as I could and again I used some removable tape. I did make sure to keep one copy of each of the sentiments I cut out and any of the insides, like for hello I needed the inside of the O. I kept those off to the side safely and kept cutting. I ended up making six with hello and then you'll see here in a minute I made four that have thank you and again I tried to center and angle the text. 
Off camera, I cut and folded 10 pink card bases. This was just a cardstock color I had some extra of. You could always choose maybe your recipient's favorite color or do a variety of colors. Now the die cut pieces, they are exactly the same size as a card front. So make sure when you're adhering it that you get it lined up nicely. Now for me, I'm going to use my art glitter glue in my fine tip bottle to add these. I kind of went around the outside and then I made sure to get any of the little pieces around the word that would kind of flip up or maybe get caught. I try to get adhesive behind those. Now since I am using art glitter glue, some of it did kind of smush out into the openings, but it dries completely clear so it's no big deal. I continued adding adhesive to the back of each of these pieces and I gave everything about five minutes to dry before moving on. Now it was time to get all of the little inner pieces added to the card fronts. And I did that by using the words that I had cut out that I kept. So for instance, I put the hello back in the opening and then I could just add glue to where the center went and place that right in there. Now you'll want to make sure not to add too much glue so it smushes out and catches your hello die cut word because you'll need to peel that back and you want the middle of the O to stay. I finished these in kind of an assembly line fashion until all 10 card fronts had a completed sentiment. Since the card base was pretty dark, I did cut some pieces of white cardstock to go on the inside. These are 5 inches wide by 3 and 3 quarters inches tall, and once they're in there, it will allow either me, if I send these out, or the recipient that I give them to, to write their personal message. Now that the set is done, I wanted to show you how you could package these. I got out 10 A2 envelopes and I counted some out for the six hellos and the four thank yous. And I'm going to put these two sentiments back to back inside of this clear box. I got these years ago at either clear bags or clear envelopes.com and I think they are one inch thick. If I can find something similar, I will link it in the description box below. This just makes it easy to gift a set of note cards. And here are some close-up looks at the finished set. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together this quick and easy note card set using the newest Spellbinders Large Die of the Month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to go check out all the new clubs. I will have everything linked in that description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.